let's just do this. Um, let's just pick up. Uh, let's just pick up at 32. Let's go one verse up higher. And the last thing we were reading was what? David had a meeting with his son Solomon. Anybody remember what that meeting was like? He told the people who had bothered him in life. <laughs> you were wrong. He told him, don't forget him. No, he did not. Y'all stop <laughs> it. So, 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 see, uh, that, 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 that's not right. So, David, what was on David's mind? His sons. He's still, it, it's like he, his sons, in a way, David's son and his nephew was still on his mind. So he was just wanting to let Solomon know, hey, this guy going to slip up. And yeah, what he do? <laughs> Look, he know, he, David ain't telling him just to kill him. That's right. He kill him, That's he right. God. That's right. He let him know. He don't slip. Yes. That's when you get him. Now, I asked y'all last week, who do y'all think ultimately was behind that? You think it was just David? You know, something in his heart? Well, see, see, because sometimes we could say, honestly, God moved me to do that. And then, you know, when the devil moved you to do something. So I'm asking you all, who moved David to say what he said? I mean, by all his prayers, that's what he was saying. It got to be God that was just behind all this. So you think God was, now I'm asking y'all, and I really want to hear from you uh, on Facebook. You unmuted everything, right? right. So I want to make sure that you all hear. Uh, I mean, that you all respond, because I want to know, who do you all think was behind what David told Solomon? before he died. Do you think it was a uh, David selfishness? Do you think it was uh, the Lord? Do you think it was Satan? I don't think it was Satan because I feel like Satan was trying to get him. Okay, I got one. I don't think the devil was in that. I, I think it was. Okay, Joseph said he think it was. What do you say, Johnny? No, nah, it was God. God was behind. It was. It was. It was. God was behind it the whole time. Ain't no way. Who would? If it, if if God, if, it, if the devil really would have worked through David, we would have heard about this later on with David. Oh, God was gonna talk about it. Oh. Nah, he was talking about David long after he had died. So I know God. Was okay, it. so you believe it was all good? What do you think, girls? Uh, yeah. Well, no, nah, I ain't gonna say the devil. But it was David talking to himself and God. You're saying, you're saying you can't have it all. Because oh. <laughs> he, I don't, know. I don't know what to say about that. That's one of the things I just keep silent. Well, well you know what? Now, now the Lord, uh, the scripture always basically uh, said, interprets. Huh? Someone said, what was the question again? The, the question was, who do you think was behind what David told Solomon? before he died when he spoke to him about Shimmy and when he spoke to him about Joel who do you think was behind it the Lord the devil or just David and the Lord to a certain extent because God was going to take care of David's enemies but then it seemed like David but you never know how God God can okay with David saying that yeah but you messed up you talking about but no listen, dude, listen to what I'm saying because I don't I'm careful when it come to God, cause God, God is like he'll he'll deal with you, you, and he will allow you to say something. And you ain't he ain't, he gonna overlook what you done done, but somebody else gonna say the same thing. It'd be something else, cause they should have been oh, have a forgiving heart. You know what I'm saying? So I I don't really know, I, and I I, I hate to say it, it is it's hard to do. That's why I say I don't I don't know. Okay, let's check it out. Any response on on Facebook? Yes, we have. <clears throat> one dark trades says it was the Lord gave him some wisdom on how to do it. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I laughed that loud. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's pick up at verse 32 and let's come on down. And we're gonna learn. 
what was behind it all. Come on. Okay. And the Lord shall return his blood upon his own head. Who fell upon two men more righteous and better than he and slew them with the sword? My father David, not knowing thereof, to wit, Abner the son of Ner, captain of the host of Israel, and Amasa the son of Jephthah, captain of the host of Judah. Their blood shall therefore return upon the head of Joab and upon the head of his seed forever. Now, y'all, let me tell y'all what's scary there. What is the revelation there that 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 sobering? His descendants uh, also have to suffer. Ah! So that means like mm -hmm. if you in that bloodline, like you're gonna be going through. You know what? That's one thing we don't think of. Mm -hmm. We don't think enough about the consequences of what we do. We don't think about how it's gonna affect our seed. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Brings me to uh, Hezekiah's son. Yes, Lord. When Hezekiah didn't want to die, he didn't think about everybody. But look what Hezekiah's son called. Look how many Israelites he called to just turn because of him. Begging for the Lord. The Lord gave him what he wanted. Don't kill me yet. Watch this. Remember me. There you go. The max, of course. Do you think he was saved? That son that did all that? He repented at the end. Oh, and listen, and God accepted him. Yeah. No way he is. Yeah. Like, you know if they repent, I know you're going to forgive. He didn't want to 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 and then they said, Lord, they kill you. Yeah, God, like, All right. You know what? And, 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 and that's just how good the Lord is. But I want you to pick up again. Now, Joab had killed a Mesa, and he killed, who else did he kill? Ab, remember? So watch this. Pick up at 33 again. And y'all, we don't really think about the consequences of all the time of what we do or how reaching our actions are. We be looking at our kids and my man, what's going on? Think about when David's son raped his daughter. Think about when his son killed his other son. And you looking like, man, what's going on? What you did is bringing this wrath and this corruption in your house because of your doings. We don't always, man, we don't always look at it like that. Watch this. Pick up a 33 again. Their blood shall therefore return upon the head of Joab and upon the head of his seed forever. His seed forever. Joab killed Abner that day and then he killed Amasa having no idea that it was going to affect his seed forever. Is it because they were anointed? Uh, anointed? No, it's just that, man, you're going to reap what you sow. It's just that simple. When you do wickedness mm -hmm. and God said he will visit our iniquity, what? Right. Upon our generation. generation. You had Abishai, you had uh uh, Abishai went out the Abner trip and then Abner killed. No, no, no. Oh. That was, uh, What's his brother name? Oh, uh, uh, give me a minute. Good night. No, uh, I cannot remember. Talking about the one that was killed. Yes, sir. Uh, Ashiel. Ashiel. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So one that was light of foot that that you couldn't touch running. God, I've never heard the running of a man described as a gazelle. He is the first. He was that light of foot. And so I could imagine him running. You think Usain Bolt was fast? I bet he couldn't touch it. Oh, 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 yes. 
Yeah. Yes. So, so his seed, Joab's seed is going to be affected forever. Y'all remember anybody else messed up in their whole generations? Jeroboam. Oh, Jeroboam. He yeah, he was really Basha. Mm -hmm. you, you remember? Uh, he had the man. He, matter of fact, God did Jeroboam so wrong. He had the man. That so wrong? His, he did him so wrong. He had no. one that he sent the message twice. <laughs> he, you know, the one that said he sent that said your son gonna die to man. Uh -huh. Well, so God got his son to do all that. And the one that went to get killed, Jeroboam family, he turned around and do the same thing Jeroboam did. Hey, what? Bro. Yeah. Yeah. And, and y'all remember what happened to uh, Gehazi? Elijah's servant. Remember when Naaman was healed? He went mm -hmm. after Naaman and said, God said, uh, 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 now somebody just came. My servant, my master said, you can give me that, that golden stuff mm -hmm. he had. Oh, all that. He yeah, he lied. When he got back, the leprosy that was on, that had left oh, Naaman, remember? Yeah. The leprosy that had left Naaman, God says it's going to be on you and your generation, yeah. your children. Elijah was in spirit when he seen that. That won't trip me out. He said, I was oh, yeah, God showed it. spirit. I saw you. Lord, help us. But come on, watch this. Go ahead. But upon David and upon his seed and upon his house and upon his throne shall there be peace forever from the Lord. So, wait a minute. He said, Y'all get this. There was going to be peace upon David's house from, from forever. Mm -hmm. But he said upon his house, he going to have problems. Joab's house. Mm -hmm. So blessing was pronounced on David's house. Listen, y'all watch this. I'm going to show you David wasn't doing nothing wrong, but I'm going to show you what was really going on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So ben the son of Jehoram, went up and fell upon him and slew him. And he was buried in his own house in the wilderness. So y'all remember why did uh, Jeroboam die? Why, why did Benaiah go and kill him? Now, think about it. Remember, Solomon, uh, David already told Solomon, use wisdom. Why did Benaiah just go and kill him? Y'all should have remembered this. Jo no, yeah, when he killed Joab. Yeah, because he said he's going to die here, so let his words kill him. The, okay. Oh. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Mm -hmm. Oh. Look at verse, go back to verse 30 and read that verse real quick. And Ben and I came to the tabernacle of the Lord and said unto him, Thus said the king, Come forth. So when I go and call Joab, the king say, Come here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, watch this. Yeah. And I'm sorry. And he said, Nay, but I will die here. So wait a minute. He said, no, I ain't going. I'm going to die right here. So that's why his life was in poverty. He really smoked it on himself. He did. Yes. Absolutely. David knew that he was going to slip up. David didn't know. God knew mm -hmm. that Joab was going to slip up. And you see that slip <laughs> up? In other words, don't kill him for nothing. Listen. Don't, it, it won't be avenging the wrong that God, he did to me. God play this. Use wisdom. Mm -hmm. So why did he die? Nothing happened to do with David. The reason he died was because what came out of his own mouth. He said, I'm going to die right here. Oh, we as Christians got to learn that there is truly, God said there's power of life and death in your tongue. Amen. 
You can literally speak life or you can speak death. Mm -hmm. Like for an example, I got to tell y'all this. Years ago, there were two guys that were going fishing. Mm -hmm. They left, they were leaving their wives at home. And you know what he said? You know what the guy said? He said, we're going out here to die. Mm -mm. Yeah, you know what? No, he said, yeah, we're going out here to die. Uh Y'all listen. <laughs> they literally died yes. that night. We got a call the next morning about the guy had drowned. They died that night out there fishing. But it was spoken out of their mouths. Y'all have no idea how powerful and God gives you let me show you what God uh does for us that we play with when God said there's power of life and death in the town what did God say uh to us about if we're weak if we're weak say, we are strong. say you're strong yeah. Amen. wait a minute some of y'all would say oh you lying see you lying see mm -hmm. you don't feel good but you talking about you Listen, what are you doing? Speaking I'm speaking life Amen. to my situation. I'm speaking life. Let the weak say I'm strong. Y'all, it's powerful. Go ahead, Scott. Papa, you remember at church? Speak, speak up loud. Okay, Papa, you remember at church? Who is doing death needs a vacation? I think this is different than that. We were doing what? Like death needs a vacation. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, death is gonna take a vacation. Mm -hmm. I think it's vacation. The vacation is over in here. In this Bible study. <laughs> we're talking about people want to die, but we're also talking about death needs a vacation. I'm confused. Well, um, no. Listen, God said he was going to cause death to take a vacation. That they were going to really, really be trying to eat. They're they, they going to seek death. And God said he's not going to allow them to find it. So it's going to be so bad in just a little while in this world that people are going to seek to die. They're not going to want to live any longer. Yeah, and uh, but God is not going to allow them to die at that time. So, but Jeroboam, I mean, uh, Joab. Now watch this. So he said, nay, but I'm going to die, right? Mm -hmm. Read the next part. And Benaniah. No, verse, uh -uh, verse 31. Read that first. Oh. And so when he when 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 he brought the word back and saying what Joab just said, uh -huh. look at the response of the king using wisdom. And the king said unto him, "Do as he hath said, mm -hmm. and fall upon him <laughs> and bury him, that thou mayest take away the innocent blood which Joab shed from me and from the house of my father." So who was take that? <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen. 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 No, listen. Yeah. Because, no, what he's saying, he's going to reap what he's done. He shed innocent blood. Now his blood's getting ready to be shed. I know. I was still salty about the Adam. I feel like Joe Ab, you didn't want to talk it out of nothing. He didn't want to hear nothing. No, nah, he did. I'm about to get you. And yeah. Adam went out in a foolish way. Why you let him get up on you? Know that yeah. part good with that sword. Yeah. Man, come on. And no, he had beef yeah. with you. Yeah. He couldn't be trusted. No, not Joel. Yeah, I was the wrong one. Let walk the did yes. one. Stay over there. I'll talk to you. Gershon <laughs> did a good sermon on that one. I was mad all over again about that story. It was foolish. So, so let's watch this, y'all. That's sad. Uh, so David simply said, do, uh, do, do as he said. That's on him. Now let's go pick up where we were. 
Uh, pick up a 34 again. So Benaniah, the son of Jehoiada, went up and fell upon him and slew him. And he was buried in his own house in the wilderness. Watch this. Go ahead, 35. And the king put Benaniah, the son of Jehoiada, in his room over the host. And Zadok, the priest, did the king put in the room of Amiah. And the king sent and called for Shimei. Wait a minute. Who is the king calling for? Shimei. Now, before we read that rest of that verse, who is Shimei? The one that cooked. Mm -hmm. uh, oh the God. one that was throwing over rocks, oh, totally disrespecting the king. Now, did y'all have a problem with that when that was playing out? Do y'all think it's okay to cuss out and disrespect the king, the anointed of God, God chosen vessel? Do you think that's okay? I think he been wanting to do it. That's it why sounded I'm... like it was kind of in the mind already because he was a little psychic man. What? He went he bad. Did he? the way he was talking to David like that? Boy. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that was scary. Talking to David like that. The devil in his people sometimes, though. Oh, they make yes. Them do foolish stuff that they normally don't do. You know what I'm saying? It's talk sideways and then mess around. But what we learn, but the devil can't make you. No, can't make you. You have to. You. Yes. And so you suppose we as Christians are supposed to do what? Have self control, self control, not being controlled by the devil. And what else we learn about? How should we be? Don't yield. Slow to speak. Slow to speak. Yeah, we're supposed to resist the yeah. devil. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to resist what he tries to get. Something in that man should have said, no, nah, that's that's King David, man. I ain't going there. Mm -hmm. But he saw David down. See, people will walk all over you when you're down. Sure will. People. Totally disrespect you. Not let you not. let you be. Uh, their, their perception of you is based on the bottom. And you see how differently they treat you. This boy treated David bad while he was down. He treated, like, he treated them like uh, the regular common folk. Oh, yeah, he did. He did. So now he has a meeting. Solomon said, tell Shimei I need to talk to him. <laughs> now watch this. Go ahead. And the king sent and called for Shimei and said unto him, Did I not make thee to swear by the Lord and protested unto thee, saying, Now for a certain on the day thou goest out and walkest abroad in a wither that thou shalt surely die. And thou said unto me, Wait a minute, baby. Did you miss that? Pick up a 36. Come on. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Maybe right. she did that in the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> 36, baby. And the king sent and called for Shimmy. See, he reads the same. And unto him, build thee a house in Jerusalem and dwell there. And go not forth any one. So now, what is he telling, commanding Shimmy to do? Stay, stay with it. No move. You want house arrest? Okay. Well, 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 not just house, but city. Yeah. Yeah. Can't leave town. Yeah. Yeah. Till he can wise and take Till he can what? <laughs> See, you know what? You're wrong. So he could be watched. Well, not even watched. Remember, David said you was wisdom. Something told, you know, the, see, see y'all again. The Lord know. Listen, the Lord know the whole future. He know everything that you're going to do, even before you do it. He know what's going to cause, cause us to go to sleep. Even if it's early, God already knows. Now, so he tells Shimmy, don't leave town. Is that all right? You understand? Mm -hmm. Read what happens after this. 
Verse 37. For it shall be that on the day that thou goest out and passest over the brook Kedron, thou shalt know for certain that thou shalt surely die. Mm -hmm. Thy blood shall be upon thine own head. So if you leave Jerusalem, mm -hmm. no fault of mine, mm -hmm. you're going to die that day. Your blood is going to be upon what? Your own head. Don't leave Jerusalem. If you leave, you're going to die. Mm -hmm. Check out what Shimmy said to that. Verse 38. And Shimmy said unto the king, The saying is good. As my lord <laughs> the king hath said, so will thy servant do. And Shimmy dwelt in Jerusalem many days. So did Shimmy agree to it? Yes, he did. He agreed. Say, yeah, what you said, okay, I'll die if I leave. Do you think he knew why he was, do you think he remember why he was in this position, why he had to say that? Do you think he mentioned it at that I didn't time? I just realized it. No. You, just imagine being Shimmy, like, hey, look, I want you to be out, and I want you to stay put. Like, why am I getting these restrictions? You know what I'm saying? Do you think yeah, he's yeah. all about what he had done? Well, he talked today. I ain't doing that. He 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 ain't doing so let me ask y'all a question. Shimmy agreed that if he left Jerusalem, that he know he would die. Mm -hmm. That would be the consequence, right? He agreed to that. Mm -hmm. Let's pick up the next verse. Oh. And it came to pass at the end of three years that two of the servants of Shimmy ran away unto Achish. Son of Mekah, king of Gath. And they told Shimmy, saying, Behold, thy servants be in Gath. How many years after that? Three. Three, Three years long. later. Three years later, what happened? Yes, sir, I wondered if the way. servants knew. No, I know, doubt it. Well, you know something, man. People talk. And you know the king was calling Shimmy. He ain't gonna be out of town. They probably tired of shit me too. They probably getting cussed out and everything. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. For for certain, one thing we, they did leave, and they went. They moved all the way to Gap, and there may be some truth to that, Bria. That they didn't have. I mean, maybe they knew that we ain't got to worry about our master because he can't come to Gap to get us. Ah. And somebody told <laughs> Shimmy, hey, 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 Shimmy, I saw Joe and Larry in Gap. And they got a new apartment over there, man. What, what's going on? I didn't know that they didn't live over here in Jerusalem anymore. Where you see them at? Oh, they got an apartment over there on Murder Street in, uh, in Gap. You sure with them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I talked to him. So watch this. Three years later, what's the problem with time? How does time get us in trouble? Sometimes we forget. Sometimes we get complacent. Time. Relaxed. Relaxed. Time can do us do some things. Even in a walk. Oh, yeah, yeah, you could be straight up on top of things. One year, a little slack. Two years, a little slacker. Through a third year, you out of there. Y'all, three years had passed. Let's see what Shipman does. He know where his servants are. Let's see what he does. Go ahead. And Shimmy arose and sat on his ass oh, and no. went to Gath. No! To Achish to seek his servant. 
And Shimei went and brought his servant from Gath. Y'all, he went and got married. He messed up going looking for him. He already know where he is. He should have sent somebody if he wanted the servant back. He should have sent somebody to get him. But with time, you think nobody paying attention to you. Three years later, who's thinking about that? Nobody watching me. He ain't going to forget about that. I ain't worried about that. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how many servants he got. How do you not know that your servants are going to watch somebody else got to come tell you that your people go? Oh, yes, you don't want him back. But you know, we don't know if he paid for him. And when you when you done bought you some servants, they in your debt. Yeah, you going to get them. So this is sad, y'all. Shimmy leaves Jerusalem. And you know what? What y'all think his mindset was when he left? I think he got a good reason. You think he got a good reason? I can see that going through his mind. Or you think he thinking nobody's watching, nobody's looking. I'm trying to see that it done on Shimmy when he when he realized that how far he got. I think I wanted to hit his head somewhere in there. I guarantee you. Somewhere. I think he probably thought nobody paying attention to me. Yeah. It's three years since then. Let me just go and sneak back. Maybe he would have thought, he said, since they got away, then he thought he could get away too. Yeah, you know what? We always think we slick and we try to be slick. Mm -hmm. But if he got to sneak back, if he got to sneak back, it dawned on him somewhere. Man, I might yeah. Well, you know what? He, he got to think about it. Yes. Because that's your life. But I'm thinking, as in Judah's case, I think sometimes we think we're smarter than what we are. I think we think we're smarter, like we can fool God some kind of way. I believe we're that crazy. Y'all saw Judas trapped himself thinking he was that smart. No, he just was. Jesus told him, the crazy part about Judas, Jesus said go, and he went. He should have changed up his game plan with Jesus said. You know why he couldn't couldn't help it? The Bible says Satan entered him. See, Satan just can't enter you. Why was the devil able to enter Judas at that time? Because the Bible says he entered him then. What enabled the devil to enter him? Because he had been messed up. He had been pranked. Because he never overcame. What was his problem? Still. He was a thief. Why he had though. Yeah. No, 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 no. He was a thief. Yeah. And he, he didn't overcome it. And so at some point, if we don't overcome our sins, that's going to be problematic because whoever you tend to obey, that's whose servant you become. You obey God, then God said, if you keep my commandment, then I will come and make my bold. So he will come and live in us if we obey him. But if we constantly obey the other fellow, then he's going to come in. That's why at the end, the devil entered Judas. Yeah, that's sad. But you know what? I'm going to tell you how the devil played it. He thought, literally, he really thought he could have both. He thought he could have Jesus and the 30 pieces of silver. Anybody know how? Y'all remember? Because he felt like Jesus was gonna escape again. He knew Jesus was gonna escape. Jesus had always disappeared. From so, but again, the Bible kept telling you, for his time had not yet come. Wasn't his time. But Judas didn't know that was his time. Judas thought he was gonna have the 30 pieces of silver. And Jesus was going to walk out of their way. He thought Jesus was going to disappear again. What messed him up was when he saw Jesus condemned to death. When he saw Jesus didn't wasn't escaping, they were getting ready to kill him. He went and hung himself because he didn't want the money then. He went and took the money back 
because he realized that money wasn't worth it. He sold Jesus out. He took the money back to the priest. They said, what is that to us? Person that sold him out, but when they weren't born, I got scared to do what Jesus said. I said, Boy, I thank Jesus would have forgave him. He was gonna forgive him. Man, but he was a he was a, a vessel that he Bible called him his son of perdition. That means he was a vessel fit for destruction. Oh, wow. He was gonna be destroyed. That's why even Jesus said that have I not chosen you 12 and one of you is a devil. Yeah. Jesus knew mm -hmm. that he would never overcome. That's why he was chosen to fulfill that role, that purpose. Remember, you were only you were either best of honor or you're best of dishonor. There is no middle ground. You either gonna be a best of honor or you're gonna be a best of dishonor. Your actions will help you to know which way you hit. Your actions. Actions don't lie. Ooh. So when you're doing stuff and you should you know you're not a guy that you would the stuff you practice. And so we know. And we know what other something. people don't know. Yes. And you know what? And 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 and, and that's a part of what we y'all know they have the stock market. You're familiar with the stock market. What they have, they say leading indicators. You could tell if the economy is getting good. Uh, are going to have a bullish future or things are going to be good in the future but there are certain indicators that they look for uh uh to let you know uh oh we're finna go into a recession because recession because there are indicators that point to recession well we have indicators too how we live how we treat people how we obey God, those are indicators. You get ready to go somewhere. How did we know? And I ain't gonna do that because that may get into somebody messes. But if we dishonest, if we're not right, that's an indicator. Where you headed? If you're not overcoming sin, you playing, those are indicators. It lets you know where you're headed. Yes, sir. <laughs> they don't, man. Let me tell y'all something. If your conscience don't bother you with any wrong, with whatever you do, you in trouble. If you could do wrong and your conscience doesn't shake you up, y'all, that's a real serious problem. You in trouble. You hear that, buddy? I bet you shouldn't have had the biggest grand coming back at the door. He got his servants with him. <laughs> but y'all, let's check out what happened when he brought his servants back. And it was told Solomon that Shimei. Uh oh, -uh, what? Verse 41 say what? It was told Solomon that Shimei had gone from Jerusalem to Gath and was come again. Snitches. Oh my! But you know what? Jerusalem yes. probably didn't have that many people. I mean, you know how you could be in a town. I mean, I know Jerusalem was. Yeah, yeah, no, they had a lot of people. But I'm just saying, like, but you know, Shreveport got a lot of people, but it's small. Well, I don't know anybody out there. So but check it out. <laughs> Somebody knew. Unless he did some type of work, and they noticed that he wasn't. Doing his job, I mean, you know, if you, if they, like, say, if he was a shoemaker, I don't know, you know, I'm just saying, like, somebody came and needs some shoes, and oh, well, my master's not here today. Well, where you at? Mm -hmm. Uh, he went to Gath. Of course, I'm gonna go back and tell King Solomon. Watch the whole time. You know what? Somebody. That's scary, and it could have been somebody's assignment. Don't take your eyes. Keep him under surveillance. That's the way the FBI did for years. I can see Solomon smart. See so them two. That's what I'm talking them about. There was two that he was instructed to watch. Yes. So for sure, with his yes. wisdom, my dad told me to do that. I'm watching them jokes. I'm taking on every week, every day to see what it is. So I guarantee you. I can see. You know, the next door neighbor, huh? You know, it could be highly likely that Shimmy was under surveillance. 
Solomon was a sharp brother. I want to know the heaven. I want to know all the answers. Oh! Just imagine you'll know the deal with every yes. story. Yes. You will know exactly yes. what happened, heard there, everything that the Bible would know. So you know everything. You were too good. Man. You were good. So watch this. Now, please, y'all get this part because we're going to have everything answered that we were asking about earlier. Because y'all hard. <laughs> <laughs> watch this. Come on. And the king sent and called for Shem oh, and said Lord. unto him, Did I not make thee to swear by the Lord? And protested unto thee, saying, Know for a certain, on the day thou goest out and walkest abroad, any weather that thou shalt surely die. And thou said unto me, the word that I have heard is good. Now, we see, we went to, didn't we have a meeting, sir? And I told you, if you leave, you were going to die. And you said that that was good. You said that was good. Y'all, if Solomon had called me after that, you think I'm going? That's <laughs> that. Oh, he was so happy. I think Shimon was so happy to get out of that situation with the king the first time. He he spoke too soon. That's good. That's good. I need to still live. I'm gone by my day. Boy, look at them three years. Them three years got him. I'm thinking he boy, he felt good about he spoke too soon, man. Oh, Y'all, one thing, even with Joab and even uh, Shimon, you know, said it sound good. He was just appreciative, I believe, that his life was spared then yeah, when it was. Person. Yeah. And um, but y'all, we we can speak too soon. God said we should all be what? Slow, Slow to speak. Why? Because our mouth can get us in a lot of trouble. Right. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember, um, I, I always think of Jephthah when uh, yeah, he opened his mouth and, and, and he had a rash vow. What was his rash vow? The first thing come to meet me, I'm a sacrifice. He had no idea that his daughter was going to be the first thing to meet him. No idea. Boy, he cried, tore his clothes off. I mean, man, that messed him up. The only reason he tore his clothes off and was going through like he did was because he knew he couldn't take his word back from God. A man of integrity. Yeah, now you're absolutely right. A man of integrity. Because y'all know we'll change like, in a heartbeat. Came to you, Lord. Here you, go. you know, you will say, I, no, I know y'all will say, <laughs> uh, I didn't mean that, and he didn't mean that. But when you, once you vow something, you got to do what you buy. Yes. Yes. That's pretty serious. And you know, we be buying stuff to death do we part. Y'all know, come on. That's why people need to appreciate Jesus a little more for his daddy. Because boy, the father still want to get you right now. And then Jesus, hold on, dad. Up. He's just talking out his mind right now. Listen to look at him. He's going to be, I know about that play. There it go again. I tell you what, when you really know the intercession that's made in our and on our behalf on a continual basis, let me tell you something. It'll change your respect level for God. I mean, it, it truly will. When you know that He's the one that the only reason we're still here today, we deserve to die and would have been dead mm -hmm. had he not intervened and worked to save us. Y'all, do y'all feel in debt to him? Mm -hmm. Like you owe him? Yes, yes, too yes. much. Yeah, I don't feel. I don't feel to my face with him if I did something on the set. God, no, I knew better than I read it. Yeah, I pretended like. I was gonna be strong to make the Bible come alive so you can appreciate Jesus more for saving us from the Father because the Father wants to show this respect. See, God is a God of justice. Mm -hmm. You get what you deserve. Yeah. God is a God of justice, but you gotta appreciate 
God putting the mercy yes. between justice and oh, y'all. Go ahead. Yeah, a couple comments. Uh, Dark Trade says he would have run the other way as soon as <laughs> <laughs> they said the king wanted me. Got on my heart. You, you ain't kidding, man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm with you, brother. Because I believe I would have headed to my horse too. I'd at least try to get away. Lord, have mercy. The other one says, uh, Brother May says, the mouth equals a world of iniquity. Fire. Ah. Oh, that was good. Yeah, that's tough. Good. And one more. Justin says, um, we have to listen to survive, and God is trying to help us, but we don't listen. Oh Lord, y'all, and that's too many of us. Don't listen. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. yeah, we do. Come on, watch this. Let's finish this. What Why happened? then has thou not kept the oath of the Lord? Ah, and the commandment that I have charged thee with. So why have you not kept the oath? Nor have you kept the commandment that I charge you. Y'all, y'all still standing there? Well, Let me tell you something. And, and, and Beniah, he wasn't no joke. Just that he went and killed Joab. That tell you what level he was on. Mm -hmm. Just say it. Joy was old. No, I think Joy was tripping. Though. He wasn't in there defending himself. You know, he in there. But but nah, was it was man. Yeah, please. Like, he wasn't scared though to go in there and do an attempt because you know Joy was about that age. No, yeah. he wasn't scared, but I don't know he could. Just but I tell you, but now was about that too. Yeah. He the captain. He leading now. Was younger? Uh, I'm not sure. But he was a bad boy. That's all I know. For him to be in the position that David had him in. I think about what Rose was saying about Joab did. I don't think he just going to go in there. Joab probably was old. Well, well, what you call old? Because he did have gray hair. We we old like he ain't he ain't got the David got old too. Yeah, he did. Oh, you think that was it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Because he, he, he was gray hair. And all this happened in David's youth. Well, doing his prime. So let's see what happens. The king said, Moreover, to ship. Thou knowest all the wicked in which thine heart is privy to, that thou didst to David my father. Therefore, the Lord shall return thy wickedness upon thy own head. So wait a minute, did y'all get something out of that? Tell me what y'all got out of that. Remind him about why he really died. <laughs> That's my right. key. you did to my dad. Therefore, it is what he say? The Lord. The Lord shall what? Return the wickedness. Upon thine what? So God, there go God again, dealing with David in this again. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all I'm seeing. Yes. And but look, I, I just look at this total though. 
See, God really show favor on uh, David. Of course. Because, like when he messed up, David shed innocent blood with Uriah. Okay. He had him killed. So, it's really, man, you really want God in your corner bad. Oh, you. please. Because when you mess up, you need God. And it's just crazy that it's, but God know the heart. And the David was a very good man in quality. Yes, man. he was. And God know yes. what type of person you're trying to be. Yes. It's almost, I hate to even, even give any <clears throat> inclination that you can mess up because I don't like giving people that out. Oh, no. But presumptive. If, if you mess up, though, God, if he, if he, it's like almost like if God really know you, he handle you differently than he handles. Well, 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 one thing he did now see, and this is what we learn about God. God have mercy on whom he will. That's, that's so, real. Now y'all, and so, and so, and let me tell you something, but what we learned from that, don't you be presumptuous oh, yeah. thinking it's you, the one he gonna have mercy on. <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying? What's his name? Um, uh, the one that was shot, and he had to go around saying, uh, "Oh, hang, 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 yeah, yeah, that I mean, was, you know, man. You know, you know, this show when God. That's that's why God said, "Business is here." Yes. Even though he he showed you, sometimes people think when, when God said, "Business here," God don't just kill people. He'll show you. He'll whoop on you. He whooped on David. Who he got? David got whooped for a long time. Now he did. Oh, he got. Yes, he paid for that the rest of his yeah, life. But let me flip this. Uh Solomon. How did God say he would do? You see what he did to King Saul with his disobedient self. He just took his spirit. And the brother died. Yeah. It was killed um, in battle, remember? Mm -hmm. But he took his spirit from him. What did he say he would do to Solomon? What man? He would punish Solomon Chest, chastise him yeah. with the rod of men. In other words, he will cause people to come against you and you will be in warfare fighting and disconfident. God would allow people to cause you to be discomfort. Discomfited. So he said, that's how I would deal with him. Some folk God killed. Some folk God let people, I mean, let people die. Whether it's a drive-by, whether you got in a confrontation, whether it's like Abner was stabbed. Y'all, listen. Some people God save and spare, but he let you know. I, me, the Lord, listen. I have mercy on whom I choose to. Y'all, you know what? When I see that, man, I think about Oh, that song sovereign. God is sovereign. He can do what he wants to, when he wants to, how he wants to. Y'all, when you really know God, let me tell you something. And who are you to say to the uh, potter, why you make me like this or why you treat me? Who are you to talk to the potter? That's Bible. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. We all are dirt. Yeah, I remember that little story. Now, yes. So y'all, this is why we learn. We need to walk what humbly before God, y'all. And I'm not just. We really do, because we need the Lord, and we need the Lord to be for us on our side. Right? Yes. I say, Lord, help us. Mm -hmm. You could do something three times, Lord said, that's it. Mm -hmm. He gonna be coming home or call gonna meet him head on. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. 
Lord help us. That's why, you know, when we do sin uh, willingly, it's just, you like, oh, Lord, don't kill me. Don't kill me, Lord. No, just get home. Just get home. Yeah, and you, you scared to you death. Get your mind right, because you don't know, you know, he might take you out with a mosquito. Just, you know what? And, and he could do it. You're right. A spider bite. Man. That little mosquito can give you what? The line? Y'all, listen, man. Uh, what's now? All this stuff. Listen, a ticks can give you the line oh, um, disease. And then, you know, God has so many ways. You could just be reaching mm -hmm. for a stick and didn't see that snake. God blind you to the snake. Mm -hmm. And the snake grabbed you by the hand. And, and, and you done. Call come over the free money. Call come over the free. Yes. I saw a tar come off a car and hit another. Like it was like meant for the person. Like straight through the window. Mm. Like and they had no idea. Yes. I mean, that stuff right there is crazy. Yeah, remember the coach of Ferris driving home and that trailer coach came detached and killed him. Ooh. What was his name, Coach Tess? What was the name? Okay, I was, I was yeah, and right up the street from the school, that trailer detached and 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 he right into it, killed it. Now, a big trailer, yeah, killed him. I remember all that. Man, you just don't know. None of us know. He was like thirty-four. Yeah, so. But watch this. Look at verse 46, the last verse. Uh, 40, 45. Oh, 45. And King Solomon shall be blessed, and the throne of David shall be established before the Lord forever. So the king commanded Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, which went out and fell upon him, that he died, and the kingdom was established in the hand of Solomon. Servants probably went back to gas. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? But his servants got the business now. Yeah. Whatever Shim had, well, well, I don't know if he had uh uh how many children and stuff or whatever, but boy, he didn't have to deal with Shimon. Shimon was a mean, cruel fella, man, and we saw that by how he was tripping with the king. We learned a lot about him. Disrespectful, bad taste, uh, uncontrollable mm -hmm. mouth, gross, wow. cussing him out. Mm -mm. And, and, but, I, I, but I really wanted y'all to see the Lord returned his wickedness upon him. <laughs> so when David said that God didn't want him to go to sleep without reaping what he saw. Now, sometimes people do go to sleep and they get rewarded on the other side. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Go ahead. And that's why we have mm -hmm. to, you know, when we be like, oh Lord, vengeance is yours. But we be wanting right there and that. Get them right yeah. now, Lord. <laughs> I'm three years yeah. to get him. But you know what? No, it was way longer. It started what oh, yeah. he did to David. David. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, we be wanting right then and there, but that's why we saying, like, man. But we don't have to worry about vengeance, do we? Oh, why? Why we don't have to worry about it and why we don't have to see it? Because God said vengeance is mine. Yeah. I do all the repaying. Y'all don't know. That's enough for me. I don't have to get you back. I don't have to know when you receive your your punishment, your penalty. I don't have to know that. I know that you are going to reap what you've done. And guess what? So when people wrong you, you know what? I feel sorry for them. Mm -hmm. No, I do. Because they don't know that they're going to reap that. Y'all know what I'm saying? God is going to get them. And then you show a lack of faith if you feel like you got to get them. That means you don't believe God. What did God say? Vengeance is mine. Let me show y'all something. Y'all remember when Moses smote that rock? 
after God spoke to him and told him to what? Speak to him. No, he told he smote him when God told him to speak to him. Mm -hmm. What did God tell Moses at their next meeting? Now, but what did he tell him? You didn't believe me. Yeah. You did not believe me. I bet Moses looking. You didn't believe me. I told you to speak to it and you hit it. When you disobey God, that's saying you can no believe it. It may come out your mouth, you believe it, but God told Moses you didn't believe me because you didn't obey me. Y'all, that's serious business. Go ahead, baby. There was a question from um, Facebook. It says, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Is it uh, okay to defend your family? When you're talking about is it okay to defend your family? Now, it is lawful to do good. And what that means is simply this, y'all. God have to show you every situation is going to be different mm -hmm. and you don't want to be presumptuous. What I mean by that is if, a, if God allow you to be in a position, then you can't, if you get the person off of your spouse, let's say a man start mm -hmm. choking your wife or whatever. Yeah, I know. I, I know. With him. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> let's say somebody did that. And uh, you get him off. Now, now you want to go further. Your wife is okay. She's over there. She's telling you to stop. But you want to. <laughs> listen. Vengeance is your wife is okay. Vengeance is the Lord's. Yeah. You don't go beyond that. Yeah. And let me tell you what happened to me one time. Uh, I was saving a guy from, and then I just had this kind of heart. That was a guy that was playing tennis from New Orleans at Grandma. And some guys had come in the place, the chicken place, where we were buying some chicken. And Spivers Chicken. Oh, um, it was down there by. No, it, it was two. So let me tell you something. So they said they tried to get the guy. You gonna buy some chicken? And the guy said he wasn't gonna buy them no any chicken. They said, okay, we'll be waiting for you. And having the hard idea. I said, man, I'll walk you back to your dorm. So we leave the chicken place. It was all good. I'm looking. It's all good. Next thing we know, coming out of nowhere. And I'm going to show you how God operates. Because sometimes we want to do people dirty. We want to get out, you know, get involved. Let me tell you something. The guy, the guy's approached us when we were leaving and they start trying to swing on him and i and i got between them now then the guy started swinging on me and i was just weaving like you know <laughs> listen so the guy got real aggressive and i'm gonna tell you something i'm telling you this before god god used these hands listen to me Listen to me. No, no, listen to me. I was just trying to do good. I wasn't no. Listen. So, but I started getting kind of big headed, you know, and I wanted to really show up because I had him on the ground. I want, yeah, you know, that. I have hands like that. But God, <laughs> but, but God helped me, and I wanted to really put it on him. The Lord wouldn't let me hit him one time when I had him on the ground. I said, no, no, no. All he wanted, he just used me to protect that guy. It wasn't meant for me to go beyond that. Right. Y'all follow what I'm saying? But see, we like to take people out. We like to do stuff, and we hide behind, boy, you listen. Vengeance is truly 
the Lord. Amen. And I want y'all to think about this. When 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 uh Saul tried to kill David on a regular basis, what did David say? Cause did not they kept saying, Boy, God, he's giving look at God, look at God. Remember the cave when Saul when, when Saul came in to use the bathroom, David was right there and they said, Look, look, look at God. So look, David cut his his garment just to show him Don't what he could have done, right? Yeah. But watch this. Saul continued to pursue his life. David finally said, y'all remember what David said? Man, one day, I don't know how long it's going to take. God is going to get, I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to avenge myself with my own hand. God is going to deal with you one day or another. Sooner or later, God is going to deal with it. And David left it in God's hands. But when you don't have faith like David had, David believed God, that God would get, that's why he didn't do that. <laughs> so when you have faith, you're going to do what David did. What, Brian? What, what? He said, he said, he said you should have just bought the chicken. <laughs> Well, TC, let me tell you something. One thing when you're in school, man, money is hard to come by when you're in college. For real. When I tell you money is tight, and if you had a couple of dollars extra, it was going to have to last you the next week or two weeks. Right. Boy, you pinched off $10. That was so real. But yeah, it's hard. It's yeah. hard when you're in school. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I, I, Pastor Jane was on scholarship. He don't know nothing about that. <laughs> See, uh, uh, he got three meals. Oh, yeah. Pastor James ate good in college. When you're on scholarship, you don't worry about nothing. So, he don't know my story. <laughs> Joseph, you've had it easy, too. Haven't you? Really? Pretty much. Pretty much. Joseph, really? I was born with a golden spoon. See that? Okay. All right. I see. But, y'all, this is so this is this is really touching to me. Uh let me see. I believe we ah uh, we'll pick up at chapter three. But y'all gotta remember, yeah, that quick. But y'all gotta remember that vengeance truly belongs to the Lord. When when people do bad things to you, like David, let Shimmy make it. He knew God would avenge him. He lets him make it. We got to let people make it too. All it is is a sign of whether or not we truly believe God's word or not. If you're trying to get somebody back, you can't be a believer. Because if you truly are a believer, you know God got that. Yeah, now I know I know the temptation, but the better, the more, the closer your relationship with God, you you, you can't go there. And God deal with people for real. Oh, he he do. I didn't say that that helped build my faith. It still be some situations you just be um you just should give it to God up to some situations you had you upset and you, oh, yes. you wanna deal yes. with yourself, but you gotta always remember your God will be baby. Mm -hmm. Boy, look at him. <laughs> Hold up. You say what? You say what about everybody? Some shit. <laughs> I told y'all we were broke in college. We didn't have money to buy everybody chicken. Yeah. Oh, I can just see. It's like I can see that too. You gonna get the chicken? Boy, you know what? Lord help us. Now these people trying to bully somebody. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? And God knew. Listen. That wasn't that wasn't even in my nature uh to be out there. I was too old grown to be out there fist fighting somebody. 
But when I tell you God took care of his business and I wanted to show out people looking, I wanted to just start just showing out. And the Lord said, you better not. Don't you touch it. <laughs> you almost yeah, look, look, look. yeah, I could. And then imagine if I had tried to show out, because this brother here was from Detroit, Michigan, and hard the earrings and the bald head, you know, thug not. I said, but now listen. You stay out of the South, you? It's that South, something about that South, though. <laughs> so when I tell you God, God is good. Amen. I learned Amen. so much over the years about how God operates. Amen. And uh, see, now, if I had gone overboard and was able when he stopped me, then I would have suffered some things yeah. at some point in the yeah. future. Yeah. I would have had to reap something that I had sown. Yeah. So I thank God, even then, before I really <laughs> knew him, I thank him for saving me and the things that he's done in my life to keep me from messing up. Go ahead, Brett. Pastor James said better broke than broke up. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor James, I agree with you there. I, 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 I agree with you. He said better uh, uh, broke than broke up. I'm with you 100%. But they weren't asking me for the chicken. They were asking him. And they were going to make him buy them some chicken. So right. praise the Lord. But but you be that home when college. Say, man, give me, man, you be. <laughs> I remember all I had in my freezer was a pack of baked chicken. You had gave me, boy. I ain't yeah, never baked chicken did. before. Man, I cooked that chicken. Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah I was so hungry up and down. Yeah. You'd be like that in school. Okay. Yeah. So come on, Scott. What were you saying? Um, Shimmy is a very bad virus. Shimmy is a bad virus? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Shimmy is a sickness. <laughs> <laughs> God gave Shimmy. What's that saying? Oh, what do we want? Yeah. Okay. Uh, be careful for what you see. Be careful for what? You seek. Be careful for what you seek. Be careful for what, what you seek. seek. What you seek? Mm -hmm. That's good. That's pretty good. That's good. I'm thinking. Okay, we'll come back then. Go ahead, Corey. Um, um, yeah, I heard Scott. Be careful for what you seek. Uh, think, um, this goes for Shimmy. Okay. Think before you do because you can never know what might happen or what comes from your decisions. Boy, say that loudly. Think before you do because you can never know what might come in your decisions. Okay. Think before you act because you never know what might come from your decision. Okay, go ahead, King. You speak like you know. Huh? You speak life and death. Speak life and death. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Cos. Um, there's power in the tongue. The devil can't make you any, do anything. Uh, it's your choice to let the devil control. Oh, the devil can't make you do nothing. Yes. It's your choice. Because yes. yeah. the Lord says, "What I set before you, what yeah. life yeah. and death, you choose." Mm -hmm. Go ahead, King. When you know something bad will happen, you'll do right. Kind of well, some people can. Like Go ahead. Leave vengeance to the Lord. Leave what? Leave vengeance to the Lord. Leave vengeance to the Lord. Amen. 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 That's good. Go ahead, Sky. Follow God's path. Uh, be watchful for what's around you. Follow God's path and watch your surroundings. And don't say any bad stuff to you or it will happen for you. Don't say any bad stuff? <laughs> yeah, you're talking about like the brother said, i die right here. And he end up what? Yeah. Dying right, right there. there. Don't, don't speak bad stuff or it will happen to you. That's what she's saying. Go ahead, Brim. Justin says your past can cost you your future. 
Oh, just to sound like a preacher. Mm -hmm. Your past can cost you your future. That is exactly right. I preached a sermon years ago, Justin. Don't let your past, don't let your past cost you your future. So you you own this something. I need to start watching you. Because boy, it look like you're supposed to be uh uh preaching. Go ahead. Walk humbly. Huh? Walk humbly. Walk humbly. Walk humbly. Yes, sir. Walk humbly. Yes, sir. Okay. And we need to listen to God and not ourselves. We need to listen to God and not ourselves. Okay. Queen, did you have another? Sometimes the things we do can mess up everything for everyone else. Oh, and I think you coming from Joab. Some things you do can make can mess it up for everybody else. Because what Joab did cost all his children. I need to tell you something that makes sense. Okay. You had another one? Go uh, ahead. Don't think you could get away because others got away. You what? Don't think you could get away because others got away. Oh, oh, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. That is a it fact. Sounds like church. They doing it, God. Why we can't do it? Oh, yeah. And, and, and boy, just because somebody else made it through something don't mean you will. It's just like Amen. some people have watched others use drugs for years. The first time Lynn Byers used the drug, yeah, it killed them. Don't think you could get away or do what, what everybody else did, did or do. Go ahead. Yes. Have God first more than anything. Have God first more than what? Yeah. That's the smartest thing we will ever do in life is to put God first and to keep him first in what? Yeah. All yeah. things. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I saw pills in the garage. You saw pills? Yeah, like in uh, our garage daddy. Yeah, but it's the dog medicine. <laughs> 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 Come on, put it back on the shelf. Okay, go ahead. Uh, when you do wrong, <laughs> when you do wrong and don't care, you will be punished. When you do wrong and don't care, you will be punished. Okay, well, you, boy, it, you it. and Justin uh, need to be in training, huh? Okay. Y'all gonna start training? Okay. All right, y'all. Hey, listen. Uh, any any last comments, last remarks for him? Okay. Let us let me say I, I, I really uh thank you all for taking this time to uh study with us. Thank you for joining us. And you say what, Reverend? Yeah. Sky gonna tell everything. Sky gonna tell everything. Uh -oh. You heard it first, right here by Sky. And I guess uh Brother Mays, he says, um, uh, Sky said um one more, let me get this one. He says, I heard a bishop say, some think they're getting away. He said, people may get by, but they aren't getting away. That That's a fact. That's I appreciate that, Brother Mays. Yeah. That, is, that, that is true. And so we all need to learn how to walk humbly before God. And man, we need to be more prayerful. We just need to get it together. Right? Right. So come on, let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you again for the time that you've blessed us to spend in your word. Father, we pray that you will continue to lead and guide us, continue to minister to our hearts. Father, we pray that whatever is wrong in our lives, wherever we're coming up short, we pray that you help us. We pray that you will deliver us and save us even from ourselves. Father, we pray that you will bless us to assemble and come together in your house in the morning and bless us to be there at 10 o'clock or before, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'll be there, Pastor. <laughs> I'm so sleepy, y'all. 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 I'm so sleepy,
I know y'all 